Case studies are so powerful, it's not even funny. Today I want to talk about why you should be including some of the common objections that your potential clients have in their mind into the case studies. Now the thing is, everyone is human. So when we do a case study of one of your past clients, they are human. They also have the same objections in their mind, but they overcame the objection in their mind and that's why they used your business. So if you are using the objections within the case studies, you're painting a future desired state in the potential customer's mind. It's giving them a way out. It's giving them a reason why they should be using your business. So what I want you to do is take a piece of paper and write down the top objections that you might face. And a lot of the clients that we talk to, they always say price is an objection. Now go list out all the other objections that you get. And when you do case study videos in the future, try and inject this objection into the client's story. So what I mean by that is, John the client might say, you know, in the beginning I thought this is way too much. You know, the price is too much, I didn't want to do this. But what I found after I just committed to the business that it solved all my problems and I'll do it again. So there you go guys. This is a really important thing you have to do when you do case study videos. Have a fantastic day.